Three in a row, baby. Three in a row. Leafs win a 3-2 in overtime against the Carolina Hurricanes. And, you know, I want to know from you guys. Let me know. Comment down below. How many were you were you guys thinking, okay, that third period expired and it was a tie game, 2-2. How many of you guys were like, please, 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 please don't go into a shootout. It just ended in overtime. Hopefully the Leafs win in the overtime. But if they win in overtime, it's okay. It's real hockey. Because I know I did. I, I didn't go to that extent. But, you know, I was thinking it. And um, the hockey gods, they help the Leafs. I have not been able to say that a whole lot as being a Leaf fan my whole life. The hockey gods helped the Leafs. I mean, then again, the Leafs kind of helped themselves. But, you know, if there's any hockey gods, they helped us in this one. So with that win and the Islanders 4-3 loss to St. Louis, we're back in the playoffs. <laughs> you guys don't believe me? You guys are thinking, no, you, why are you pulling my leg like that? It's not April Fool's yet. Well, you know what? Let me just try to do a little bit of a little bit of showing right here, all right? Oh. Oh, those are the that's wild card. Who's who's the who's the second team? The Leafs? <gasps> Who's the team in the non-playoffs? New York Islanders. The Leafs are back in the playoffs. Ah! So everybody's saying the 18-wheeler has fallen off the cliff. Well, the Leafs have won three straight. And uh, nothing but positives out of that. So let's break this one down. All right, let's break this down a little bit. Uh, Victor Rass started off the scoring... Nine minutes into the first period, with kind of like a William Nylander type of shot against Philly, you know, kind of the shot over the, over the shoulder, kind of tough one to get to the chicken wing, kind of like you try to get your glove up, you kind of can't do it. Uh, one nothing Carolina, but that didn't last long. Literally, like under a minute later, uh, Mitch Marner off a gorgeous feed from Bose, that quick quick shot from Marner, bang, we got ourselves a tie game. Mitch Marner seventeenth, assisted by JVR and Bozak. Well, Bozak and JVR, if you're actually saying it. And when do those guys not assist Marner's goal? And when Bozak scores, when does JVR and uh, uh, Marner not assist? Like, it's just like they're like glue, and I love it. If they can just learn to play really good defensive hockey, <laughs> that could be a deadly line. And they already are deadly. But, you know, development and growth and, you know, being being good together, it takes time. Even more than one season, it takes a lot more time. Second period, well, that's the end of the first period. However, the Leafs do get a penalty late in the period. Again, abbreviated power plays don't usually hurt you. But in this case, it did 45 seconds into the second period. Tevu Teravainen, Tevu Teravainen, however you want to pronounce his name, scores his 13th. We got a 2-1 to one Carolina lead. And, uh, this sucks. But seven minutes in, about six minutes later, JVR. Comes down, Bozak on his wing, decides, nah, I got this one. I got this one. And puts it by Cam Ward. We got ourselves a 2-2 two, two game. There we go. All right. And nothing happened. I, I didn't look. I didn't know this until I started talking to myself about this. Yeah, I'm weird. I know. But anyways, the, nothing, nobody scored in the whole second half of the game. Didn't feel that way. But that's what happened. And the Leafs did a... Good job defending, I gotta say. And the Leafs were outshot by only one shot in the third period, 11-10. They didn't just get absolutely pounded in the third period. They did a pretty good job. And overtime comes around, and William Nylander puts it to the put it puts it to the boards to Riley, and Riley does his thing, goes around the net all the way from the blue line or all the way down around the net, has a guy on him, stops on a dime. That guy, he smelt. He's out of here. Come, kind of cuts to the middle a little bit. There's a guy on him. I'm going to go around you. And I don't know if it hit a stick. He fanned on it. What happened? But it literally wasn't a hard shot and went five hole and came more. Just sneaked through. That's all that matters. It went in the back of that. And that's really what means a little bit of anything. And Leafs win 3-2. <sighs> Three in a row. We're back in a playoff spot with only 15 games to go. 
But how many of you guys, and I don't know if you guys remember this. I don't know what year it was. Was it 07? I know we're going back way far. When the New York Islanders beat out the Toronto Maple Leafs for that eighth spot in the Eastern Conference. I think it was a shootout between New Jersey and the Islanders. And New Jersey needed to just win a game. Just needed to win that game. Shootout, overtime, whatever. They just needed to win it. And they lost in the shootout, and the Leafs got eliminated. That was on the last day of the season, and it was a heartbreak, and it was just a mess after that. And the Islanders of the team are battling with it again, so I just want to bury these guys right now. But we're burying other teams. I mean, before we get to the teams that we're burying, because it's fun, Freddie Anderson, guys, has been playing outstanding over the past little while. I mean, let's talk about him a little bit, because, you know, the guy deserves it. He's been playing stellar. Let's go back to February 23rd against the Rangers. This is when things kind of started to change for Freddie. He gave up one goal and 38 shots, and the Leafs lost in overtime. Henrik, that was the big, big goalie duel that, uh, obviously, the Leafs lost in overtime. Actually, there was the shootout, to be honest with you. And, uh, and then the next game, you lose to Montreal, but he gives up three, three on 28, so not great. And then after that, Two goals on 36, two goals on 35, two goals on 24, two goals on 38, and tonight again, two goals on 38 shots. Freddie Anderson has been outstanding in the month of March, let's say. Let's just say in the month of March, he has been outstanding, and he's playing really well at the right times. Lee fans, we have not been able to say this much when a goalie has been playing really well down the stretch. And Freddie Anderson is doing that right now. So, we got to take this win as it is. Two points. And move on. Actually, I didn't even tell you guys about the standings a little bit. Because, uh, so we know about the Islanders. They're one point behind us. And all these teams have played the same amount of games, all right? So, the Islanders, they're one point behind us. With the same amount of games played. Tampa, who we play, not next game, but the game after. They're only three points behind us. So, that would be a team you want to knock down when you can. Uh, and then obviously Philly, the big, big win in the previous game. If you think about it now, if the Le since the Leafs won and Philly lost to Boston, we would be only two points up on Philly. But right now, with our win against Philly, we are six points up on the Flyers. Florida, the next team we play... 69 points. So they are seven points back at Leafs. I remember like not too long ago, they were like a point back with the same amount of games played. Things are going right. The Leafs are playing well. The teams below them are losing. The teams above them are kind of winning. Boston's been winning, and Ottawa's been murdering everyone, and Montreal is, you know, being Montreal right now. So, hey, let's keep this ball rolling, all right, because we play Tuesday night down in Florida, taking on the Panthers, and Thursday night uh, against the Tampa Bay Lightning. So that little Florida road trip, and then you come home to play Chicago on Saturday night. It's going to be a test, though, right? It's going to be a real big test for this team. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the game, hit that like button. I do appreciate that, you guys. Hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. It really does touch my heart when you guys hit that subscribe button. It really, really does. Comment down below. I just had to take a deep breath because the Leafs are back in the playoffs. I mean, come on. Comment down below what you guys thought of the game. Give me everything. I thought the... Brian Boyle, Matt Martin, Nikita Soshnikov line looked really good in this one. I thought they looked really energetic and really solid. Let me, go, let me know what you guys thought of everything. Freddie Anderson, the team in general, that one line, and the playoff chances. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll talk to you guys a little in a very short amount of time. Blue Jays edition, as I did promise, we would be posting Blue Jays video. I, would, I was going to post a Blue Jays video today, so we're getting that out to you. And also, Raptors edition, Monday, uh, they're back at home taking on the Dallas Mavericks. As I said in the Raptor video, if you guys did not see it, I might be at that game. So if you guys follow my Twitter, which I'll put in the link of this video as well in the description, uh, you'll be able to know about that. And I'll probably know by tomorrow anyways what the deal is for Monday night. And also, as we've been talking about, Tuesday, Leafs edition as well, as they're down in Florida... Taking on the Panthers. We're looking to bury the Panthers and be up nine points over them. Man, that would be nice. Let's go for four straight. We'll see you guys then.